this is a message to my black men and black women. Never, never let any other race try to hurt your people. Never. So we must start love one another as we love ourselves. Stand up and fight. Did you know fight with all of one my of the high time? Never let no one hurt my people. Never, Christian believe. Did you know those icons are white icons? We are the first man. Did you I know that? Let's see if we can get some overstanding. Moses, the icon is white. David, the icon is white. David's son, the icon is white. Solomon, the icon is white. Solomon's son, the icon is black. Solomon's son's son, the icon is black. Queen Ashina, the icon is white. The Virgin Mary, the icon is white. Jesus, the icon is white. Joseph, the icon is white. John the Baptist, the icon is white. John Divine, the icon is white. John also, the icon is white. You know we have three John. John the Baptist, John Divine, and John. And the all, all of them icon is white. Goliath, the high can is white. Don't let no other race kill our people. Never, 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 never. Which one else? Listen to what I'm saying to you. Black men, you gotta stop killing each other. Black men, Adam, high can is white. Kill each other. Save the children. Cain, high can is white. The Abel, the high can is white. Set, the high can is white. Noah, the high can is white. So you can see all of them and those that have not been mentioned. The icon of the Bible, they are all white people. Let's see if we can get some understanding of what takes place. And all these stories of the Bible took place in Africa. So therefore, it seemed like Africa was white a long time ago. And we came later on. What do you think? No, 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 no. Listen, long time ago, watch my lip. Long time ago, there was no white people on this planet. The only man that was here is the woolly man. You can say all type of bullshit you want to say. But we are the original man that been here from time and time. And we cause other men and women to come in existence with interference. With other beasts, sorry, with other beasts that look just like us. You got to remember, we were close to the beast long time ago. There were no heating of the flesh. 
and that's why they multiply abundantly. You can see that today in Africa, some place do not eat their animal. So I'm talking a long time ago. Remember, I'm using the word time because we never use date. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, one o'clock, two o'clock, January, February, 1965. We never use none of that thing you call time and date. We only live in light time and dark time. And that's why we don't have date and our pottery that we made long time ago. And our structure that we built, we don't have date on them long time ago. Because we did not use date. We only live in light time and dark time. And all that knowledge has been taken away from our people. There's some place in the archives. We need to enter the archive and take our shit out of there. But when we take it away, we can't read it anyway. Why? Because our great, great grandfather and mother when they write long time ago, they write from right to left. They write from right to left. And the white men took that away. And they take, uh, no, before I go any further. They write from right to left with no division. One continuous word. So the guy that read it in those days, he, he was the only one who could read those writings. And the white people took it and write it from left to right with no div with no division they write it from left to right and break up the words so we cannot overstand it and that writing of my grandfather did not have any vowels. Only consonant only. So do you see the problem that we have? Remember, all the, all the icons of the re religious are white. And my people write from right to left with no division. And the white men took it and write it from left to right with division. So we cannot understand it. And we don't have anybody in dispensation of time that can read that writing. Remember, the writing doesn't have any vowels in it. How they write it, don't ask me. But all I can tell you, the white men take it and put vowels to it. And they also doing the same thing into the land of Kemet. They're going to the walls of them pyramid. And they're taking the hieroglyphic and they're putting vowels into those writings. Also, the black man is doing the same shit. 
and mixing up those writing with their thoughts and their saying. You could imagine that. So we lost our sense of direction. We don't know where we're going. So now, how are we going to come back to our original knowledge? Because the white man already penetrated your thought, your idea, and your understanding. Your standing I'm doing, it's, it's been penetrated by him. You don't have any standard of doing anything anymore. Because it's penetrated. So your standing is down or it's gone away. So the standard that we have of doing is the white man doing. Talk to me. Tell me what you know that the white man have not taught you. Right now, three quarters of the things that you have into your brain have been taught by the white people. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. Listen carefully. Straight up. The time has come My grandfather taught for the, black the black people how to build a dam, to how to dam the river, how to make a fire without match. How to make the water hot before the fire? Don't you fool around. Can you do that? Don't you, fool you don't know what I'm talking about. And by you don't have that understanding, you get stuck. See, remember, long time ago, you remember what I'm saying? Listen, what I'm saying. Long time ago. And when I say time, that means our people are living in time and they're born in time and they die in time. That's the point I'm trying to make so you can understand. But by you cannot understand that, you get stuck. You gotta wake up, black man. Stop having dream of the white man. See if we can take the land away from him and take our artifacts away back from him. Take our gold away. Share it among ourselves. Take our diamond away. Share it among ourselves. Or sell it among ourselves. If you cannot do that, you're going to be a dead black man. Completely dead. Stop him from digging out the gold in South Africa. Stop digging the gold diamond from South Africa. Let's take it away from them. Let's take all the land away from them that they occupy. Ain't that a bitch? How are you going to do that? How are you going to take away the land from the white man? He's, he's God. The white man is God. I said the white man is God. And the are God people. And black people want to go and live with them. Because they're God people. And if you try to mess with them, God will smite you. Isn't it so? So the black man is not God people because he has been made to be slaves by the white man. God made him to be slaves. Tell me I'm lying. God made the black man to be slaves. Because the slave master is the white man. No. 
And the Bible tell you that the slave must obey his master. So slap him one side and turn the other cheek. Let the white man slap him again. That's what your Bible is telling you here. So when the master comes and says, come here boy, slap you in the face. He don't tell you to turn the other cheek, you just turn it and he slap you again. That's the God my people want to go and live with. Uh, that's the God my people want to go and live with. With the slave master. They can't get nothing what I'm saying. They can't get it. They cannot get what I'm trying to tell them. That's some bullshit. If I am the original, by the knowing of the white man and by the knowing of myself that I am the only one was on this planet, how could I be a slave to the one that came after me? The Chinese were not here before me. The Indian were not here before me. The white men were not here before me. I am the amigo. I was the first man on the planet. I were not hold on a space and drop down on the earth. No. So that's the point I'm trying to make. So our, all our knowledge twist up. So by our knowledge twist up, we get stuck. And once we get stuck, that's it. We're not trying to find a way how, how to get rid of the white man. Do you know how long the white man have you in captivity? Black man. Do you know how long the white man plays brutality? and your physical body and your spiritual mind do you know how long do you know how long the white men in africa before we came to the western world are you want to call it the british are you want to call it the germans and mix them all together because they are white people the dutch the danish the french the british the danish they're all white people. Do you know how long they've been in Africa before they came here? And slaving the people and killing the people? Have you ever heard about a place called Tasmania? Do you know how many black people the white men killed there one time? Over 50,000. Over 50,000 black people have been killed in Tasmania. And nobody say nothing. Nobody say nothing. And it's been going on. South Africa, do you know how many Black people get killed by the Afrikaners. They call themselves Afrikaners. The Dutch. And everything quiet. Nobody's not saying anything. We got to rise up, black men. We got to rise up and get rid of this brutality from the hands of the white man. Stop talking about this God and this Jesus and this vir Virgin Mary and this Jenna and this David and this Goliath and whatever. Those not going to help us. Those are trapped to fool your mind or to catch your mind in captivity. So we can't get out of this stagnant way of what the white man place on your thought, your ideas and your mind. So become corrupt against each other. So you're fighting against me and I'm fighting against you. 
Because the white man already corrupt your mind. I like Brother Lynch, what Lynch said. You gotta wake up. Wake up and get out of your slumber. And see if we can take the land away from the white man. So we can plant more grains and have more food for our people. And raise more livestock. We are the first man. Abundantly, our let take 25 of the state of the United States. Let's move all the white people and move in there and take out all the land and all their property, house and everything. Can you do that, or can we do that? Take out all the state. There's 52 states, and the white government owned all 52 states. Huh? If there be a loss, black people doesn't own one of the states. There's a lot of black people living in Louisiana, Mississippi, Georgia, Alabama. But they don't own the state completely. No. They can't. Because they're not trying to seek that way out. They're comfortable with the white men doing. And by they're comfortable with the white men doing, that's why the white men do what they want to do. Throw it out. You're not trying to fight him. Because you can't. You ain't got no guns. And you're saying he's weak. The saying is not strong. The time has come. You're comfortable, comfortable with his doing. Fight for our people. Don't let no other race so that let people. my never, people never, do drive by shooting. Listen what I'm saying to you. And who is shooting down? Black man, He's not shooting down white people. Black woman, let them get out there and do a drive by shooting and, and white neighborhood and see what's happening. Let them do that. If they're that bad, white men will gather them up and take them all back to Africa. And no question asked. Straight back into Africa. As I said, we got to wake up and stop letting this bullshit take place with all these white people doing wrong to us. If they're police or lawyer or judge or jail securities and they're doing wrong to our people we got to find a way to stop it and they have circuit ways of hurting our people and also the black people get into this secret way of the white men to hurt their people their own people So we gotta find out what is wrong, why our people is hurting our people. And why we can't stop the white men from hurting our people. Every day they hurt our people in all type of ways. If you cannot understand what I'm saying, hit me up with an email or call me so we can chit chat. Respect. Because you're not going to overstand until you realize what's taking place. 